The entire country continues to mourn the death of former President Kim Yong-sam, who will be laid to rest after a state funeral on Thursday. Shin Se-min gives us a glimpse of the funeral preparations and the altars that have been set up around the country. One by one, mourners lay flowers before a memorial portrait of the late President Kim Yong-sam. It's a similar scene at roughly 188 altars set up around the country as citizens stop by to pay tribute to the late leader. Thinking of him comforts me. I miss him as someone who once led our country. Here, and I bring the condolences on behalf of the British people to the people of Korea uh, for the loss of somebody who is a great patriot and a great democrat. He contributed greatly to social welfare and helped make our lives better, so I admire him. It's the third day of a national five-day mourning period for the late president, regarded as an icon of Korea's democratization movement in the 1980s, who laid the groundwork for a transition from dictatorship to democracy. Across the country, Korean flags have been lowered to half staff, and the government has asked all public servants to wear black ties at public events in a show of respect. At the National Assembly, preparations are underway for a state funeral scheduled for Thursday. The organizing committee, headed by Prime Minister Hwang Kyo-wan, is composed of over 2,200 funeral commissioners, and the list of advisors includes former presidents Chun Doo-hwan, Do Tae-woo, and UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. The funeral procession will start at the National Assembly, and the late president will be laid to rest at the National Cemetery in Dongjaku District, Southern Seoul. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.